equilibrium is a constant state under a given set of conditions, but it can change to a different state if the conditions change. So notice here that equilibrium can change if the conditions change. And so that's why we call this dynamic equilibrium. Equilibrium systems are dynamic in that they can respond to stresses or changes in conditions. So if the equilibrium system is stressed or the conditions change, a dynamic equilibrium can respond. Or rather, I should say, an equilibrium can respond, and that's why we call it a, dy a dynamic equilibrium. Now, the French chemist, Lou Chatelier, described how equilibrium responds to stress. So he came up with Lou Chatelier's principle, which is if a system at equilibrium is stressed, the equilibrium will shift in the direction that relieves this stress. So an equilibrium wants to be in a situation of little stress. And so some common stresses include changes in, I'm going to write changes up here, changes in concentrations, and this can be in the concentrations of reactants or products, changes in pressure. Now changes in pressure are only going to occur in reactions where gases are involved. And then also changes in temperature. So if any of these things change, then we consider this a stress. And so equilibrium here, the equilibrium is stress, so the equilibrium will shift in the direction that relieves this stress so that it's in a situation of little stress. One final note is that catalysts do not change the values of a system in equilibrium. It only changes how fast the system reaches equilibrium. So again, equilibrium is a constant state under a given set of conditions, but can change to a different state if the conditions happen to change. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.